When the Pastoral Care Committee asked me to uh, participate in uh, making a video to help all the leaders of the churches uh, understand what we're trying to do with pastoral care, it really gave me a, a, a pleasant, encouraging feeling because uh, it goes back to when I first became district superintendent that in my prayers I began to ask the Lord, what, what do you really want me to do and emphasize in this district in the years that I have to serve? And what came to me was uh, three things, healthy pastors, healthy churches, and new congregations. And so from that, I just began to explore ways of how that can take place. And uh, the most important part of the whole thing is the issue of pastors being healthy, physically, spiritually, mentally, uh, socially, relationally, family, um, and in concern of what, what that looks like. And so uh, uh, out of that, um, I began to think and pray about how we can encourage the pastors, how we can provide some venues to help them grow in their own personal lives and, and, and how they can develop their own relationships to encourage one another. Our hopes are that every church, the church leadership uh, with the church board will spend time discussing together and praying over on the ways that they can give affirmation and support to their pastor. Uh, there are particular times that can be very stressful in the pastor's ministerial life. If there's a number of illnesses that take place even all at once, uh, pastors are there. Uh, if they go through a building program or if for whatever reason the, the church uh, is not as... Uh, there are people move away, the, the congregation is smaller, the, the finances are lower, uh, pastors carry that whole load. And uh, church boards and other leaders in the church need to have a plan that they lay out on how to give the kind of support pastors need uh, all the way through their ministry. The real beneficiaries of this is, is the local church. 